Now, over the last few years, digital marketing agencies have become a lot more mainstream, and it seems like everyone's trying to go through and start their own digital marketing agency. Everyone on YouTube's talking about how to start your own digital marketing agency and going through and selling a course and training, and yes, I'm kind of throwing myself under the bus here because I fall into that category. I have my own marketing agency. I teach other people how to do exactly what I do. However, the traditional way of how to go through and start and grow your marketing agency that it seems like everyone is talking about online, go and get clients, charge them $1,500 per month, $2,000 per month, and go and get five or six clients, you're making $10,000 per month. My personal belief is that is gonna completely die here and within the next year. And if you don't make the changes that I'm gonna tell you in this video in the next 12 months, your business is gonna be extremely hard to grow and scale to the next level. So let's talk about some of the realities right here, okay? So looking at a traditional marketing agency, what most people do, what most people teach you to go through and do is go and get, let's say, a real estate agent. I'm in the real estate space, so I work a lot with real estate agents. A lot of people that follow me are either real estate agents or they wanna go through and help real estate agents. And they go and they're like, I'm gonna charge this real estate agent $1,500 per month to run their Facebook ads, do the lead generation, do some follow-up, connect things with their CRM, and then I'm gonna have a three to six months contract initially to go through and start out. Now, what typically happens with this model? Now, if you're brand new to the digital marketing world and you're looking to start your agency, let me give you just a quick glimpse behind the scenes of what's gonna traditionally happen. So you're gonna go through, and let's say you've got 10 clients. Six to seven of those clients, after the first three months, they're just gonna completely cancel your services and that's because they're not bringing in enough revenue to keep you on long term. Okay, maybe you have another two to three that stay on for six to seven months, and maybe you're gonna have one that stays with you long term. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but what the core metrics that you wanna look at is what's called the LTV, lifetime value of the customer. And if you're charging $1,500 per month, an initial three month contract, and you're fine just having a $4,500 lifetime value or $1,500 times the three months and then everyone just cancels at the end of that, that's works, that's more power to you. However, the real power of going through and building a business, a marketing agency, is that recurring revenue. So the best way to go through and do this, this is what I've done. I actually started in the marketing agency world several years back, way before it even got mainstream. And then about five years ago, I started a SaaS company. Now SaaS stands for Software as a Service. And this is where I believe most of the marketing agencies are going to be heading, and if you don't head this way, I think you're gonna really get left behind and it's gonna be very difficult to scale, grow your business, and get new clients. So let me break down kind of the traditional SaaS method of how to go through and grow your business. And the great thing about SaaS is there's massive scale because you have leverage of a technology that is doing a lot of the fulfillment for you. So I've been in the SaaS space now for about five and a half years, so let me just break down this model and how this works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and acquire a customer, and typically you're gonna have either a setup fee or some type of higher fee to go through and onboard a customer, right? So if you look at Infusionsoft, they charge like two to $300 as a setup fee, and that setup fee is required, and then after the setup fee, it's like $100 or $200 per month. Now, don't quote me on prices here, I have not looked at Infusionsoft's pricing for a long time now, but that's typically how it works, okay? And now, if you look at that though, you charging $1,500 per month versus Infusionsoft or some other software only charging two to $300 per month, who's gonna win? Infusionsoft is gonna win every single time all day long. Now, you might argue with me and say, well, Infusionsoft has tons of investment money. They have all this VC capital to go through and start their business, be able to bring on all these customers at $200 per month. I don't have that type of capital. Well, here's how you negate that and exactly what I've done with my business. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run ads and obviously when you're starting out, you don't run ads, you just do organic ways to go through and get your first clients. But once you got to a point where you've got a good steady system, you run some ads, you bring on those clients, you charge a higher upfront ticket price so that you can pay for all of your ads, you can pay for the initial onboarding, the initial setup, and then on the back end, you're gonna just be charging a two, three, or even $400 per month monthly recurring fee. Now, you might be thinking, Jason, that is a complete waste of time. I don't have time to focus on these clients if they only are paying me $200 per month. Well, guys, that is the great part. That is where the fulfillment is leveraged out through this technology. 
right? So what you want to do is let's say you go through you charge $3,000, $4,500 upfront for the first two to three months. You get them all onboarded. That pays for your ad fees. That pays for your setup, your client success, all that. But then after that, you have the software in place that can do a lot of the fulfillment. And if you think about that, who's going to stay on longer? Someone paying $1,500 per month that is breaking the budget every single month to continue working with you or someone paying two to three or even $400 per month receiving very similar type of value and quality, but they're not having to pay as much so they're able to stay on as long as they possibly want. Now, the truth is I've actually held off making this video for a very long time because honestly, at the end of the day, it is extremely difficult, it is extremely expensive to go through and build a software company. And so I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. All right, transitioning from the marketing agency to more of the SaaS model. However, recently I have connected with a few people and they are making it possible for any marketing agency to go through and white label their platform where you have 100% full control and I can show you exactly how to go through and build that SaaS company for your own marketing agency business. The model is very similar, but it's also a lot different to go through and get someone onto a software versus more of a service-based business. It's a different type of pitch, different type of sell. And so I don't have any course, I don't have any program to go through and sell you, but if you guys are interested in how to make the shift, drop a comment down below because I can go through and shoot more videos right here on my YouTube channel, kind of breaking down and explaining how to go through and shift your marketing agency from more of the traditional agency where you're doing all the heavy labor, charging $1,500 to $2,000 per month and adjust to more of the leverage service where you do a lot more of the upfront legwork right at the beginning and then after that, you're just charging a two, three, four, or even $500 per month fee for access to the software, the tools, all of the templates that you have built in place. Now, one last thing that I'll share with you guys, the great thing about this is leverage, okay? Because typically you're gonna hire an account rep and that account rep can maybe manage 10 to 15 accounts paying $1,500 per month. However, with a software being more of the fulfillment piece, all the tools, doing all the heavy lifting for you, that one person can easily handle 60, 70 to 80 accounts and so you can have massive scale which is limited amount of people on your team. So anyway guys, I wanna just kinda of break this down for you because I know this channel is a lot more kind of beginner marketing agency owners. Maybe you are looking to start one or you just started one, you're trying to get it off the ground but this is what a lot of the top agencies have been doing for a long time, for a number of years. Okay, it's something that I've been doing. I could list off all the different companies where they're going through and they're just leveraging technology and tools to be able to charge a lot lower price point and deliver very similar value to what you might be delivering at $1,500 to $2,000 per month. And so they're able to go through and scale up, win all the customers, bring on hundreds if not thousands of customers at a much lower price point and still have massive profit margins and deliver great value. So anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this model. If you guys like to hear more on how to go through and actually make this happen because like I said before, like we have put millions of dollars into our Arsenal software. I'm not saying you're gonna go white label to Arsenal software, okay? I'm not offering that so don't ask that. Uh, but if you'd like me to go through and break down how to go through and make this work for your business for literally pennies on the dollar, I can go through and break down the exact strategies right here on the YouTube channel to be able to help you with growing your marketing agency. And I personally believe if you do not make this shift moving into 2021, your agency is gonna quickly become obsolete. And if it doesn't become obsolete, you're gonna spend all of your time acquiring new customers and then after three months, you're, all of your customers are gonna leave you. And then you're not spending all your time acquiring new customers, so you're gonna always be acquiring new customers as opposed to actually keeping your customers on a long-term basis. Anyway guys, I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.